Are all the questions? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, a question on the airport, <laughs> on the airline. The I, thought, I thought she was noting them down. My question. I did. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the direction from the speaker. My question on the answer, pilot. I no, I'm not finished. finished. Yes, go no, that on. is a very serious okay. case. Thank you. This David Speaker's question was just an in the. In I've the finished America. and I've done what the boy Chung was. All those uh, five honorable members. The third one, by Honorable Ichungo, was on the aging workforce in the international destinations. And he was asking, how can we help our youth be able to go and work there? I'm sure we can collaborate and see how we can create jobs for the youth. And in terms of even, uh, they don't even have to go there. They, we can do the, they can do some of the jobs through the internet and help them. Um, Honorable and I asked about the unrest in Kericho, plucking machines that happened about two weeks ago, and even the one that happened about two days ago, the view on mechanized uh, tier states. Um, as a cabinet secretary, Ministry of Lab Labor and Social Protection, on labor issues, I want to say. I'm ready to provide an environment for the businesses to be able to thrive in this country. Number two, I will also provide an environment for the stakeholders to sit down and discuss. I'm aware the last agreement between um, FKE and the employees was that, uh, and government was that 40% mechanization was being allowed and 60% uh, employment for Kenyans, including the locals. So I want to believe where I am, the government's position is for the status quo to remain and to really have the stakeholders on the table so that we can discuss and have dialogue. This is our country. We want jobs for our people and we also, as a ministry, uh, encourage uh, mechanization to be done, but to a certain level at the same time employ our people. And I'll tell you, I come from that region, and you see tea farms that are very big, and maybe on my thoughts is that these multinational companies should also improve on CSR. What they're doing is not enough. They can do more than that. And then the land rates that are there, there are things that we can discuss on the table and agree and move on. Thank you. Um, you also asked about the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto on um, I think it was about social security and unemployment we cannot run away from unemployment in this country and I want to believe that uh, the Hustler Fund will be able to address this issue of unemployment be able to provide uh, money for the youths that are unemployed to be able to do their businesses and encourage them, them that as even they do the businesses they save for their retirement, they save for their future and will be able to protect their uh, investments in NSSF. So is the Hustler Fund the equivalent of unemployment insurance envisaged in the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto? I'll relook at it. I don't want to say I know everything but I'll be able to sit down and relate that issue. And you're welcome to my office. We can discuss again. Hustler Fund is for all Kenyans. It is not just for Kenya Kwanzaa. Thank you. Honorable Jeanette, my friend in parliament, uh, we were on different sides, but we related well. And I want to say thank you. Your, your question was on unemployment the employment of population. We have youth that are very many that do not have experience and every time they want to do they want to get employment they are asked for their experience. Uh, I know through NITA we can be able to take up youths that have finished various courses and attach them in various industries. So industrial attachment is one of our responsibilities as a ministry, and I know we'll be working with NITA to be able to ensure 
that our youth are taken up to be able to get that experience. There is a lot that is being done.